Right, let's get on with the unboxing. What we'll be unboxing today will be the Tefal OptiGrill Elite, which is the intelligent grill. Basically, they intelligently decides how to cook whatever item that you're cooking in the grill, and hopefully will give you a perfect grill. So we've got that, that just came in the post today, so we're gonna do an unboxing, plus there will be two other accessories that I'll unbox that work in conjunction with the OptiGrill, which will be the waffle grilling plate and the baking snacking tray. So you'll be removing the grill that's on the OptiGrill, slotting in the waffle grill or the snacking baking tray uh, accessory. So basically you're getting so many different forms of cooking with this one great, great appliance. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox, have a look, and yeah, let's go, let's do this. Right, this is the Tefal OptiGrill Elite Intelligent Grill. Great stuff, rare, medium, well done, steak. All done intelligently, because it's called the Intelligent Grill. I think it's time to see how this thing works. So the first thing, I've actually put it all together, which it was already together really, the plates were there, and the I just put the drip tray in. That drip tray just slots in there, like that. And the plates, they're very easy to remove. Just press a button at the side here. There's that little side button there. Just press that and there's two little slots there it just slots in and it just clicks in and the same thing for the top plate there's a button there you just press that that slides out and that's it ready for washing very easy to do that just slots back in those two slots and it just clicks in so that's the grill plates there so what we're going to do we're just going to fry this or grill this bit of steak here I'm not a chef so hey but I'm gonna give it a go so it's switched on 
let's take this sticker off, see what's underneath. And uh, yeah, let's switch it on. There's a button here. It's all plugged in and it's now booting up, switching on, and it's gone straight to beef. So I'm not going to read the manual. I'm just going to see how easy this thing is to use. If it's very intuitive, which is what I do with everything really, I never read the manual, just go with the flow. And when I get stuck, that's what I'll decide to have a look. But it's already on beef. I've got my beef here ready to put on the grill. As it's on beef, I'm just going to press OK. See what happens. It says preheating in progress. Wait. Um, from what I understand, it's got different colours here. Yellow, orange, red. So if you want it rare, it will go on yellow. Obviously, orange is medium and red will be well done. So I'm just going to wait for it to preheat. And when that says I can put the beef steak on, I'll put it on. So yeah, let's see. Let's wait. While we're waiting, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some salt and pepper on the steak. Just going to put some salt and pepper. As I said, I'm not a chef, but hey, let's give it a go. See how it goes. Nothing complicated about that, though, is it? Putting salt and pepper on. And what I'm going to use will be pure butter ghee. I'm going to put pure ghee butter on there. Hopefully that will be this. Put that on there, get it ready. Let's put that ghee on there. Let's get that. I think I should have, uh, I'm going to put this side on first so that will just run off and then I'm gonna put some more butter on this side let's close it so it's calculating the thickness now it says thickness calculation weight so it's calculating the thickness that's great blue I just literally I'm not pressing it down just plonked it down the weight of this is on top of the steak obviously and there's a little arrow there that's going round so as it goes round it's saying blue and it's flashing so right now it's going to rare this is the rare section I don't want it rare now it's saying it's gone through the rare section and now it's going through the medium section. 28 seconds to go through the medium section. And because I'm really not a beef steak connoisseur, I'm going to get it just on, just as it reaches well done. I know people say, oh, it should be at least medium. I'm going for well done. So it's finished the medium stage. Now it's going to go for the well done stage. So I'm not going to go full hog. I'll just leave it in there. Well done will be 1 minute 40 seconds. That will be the well done stage. I'll do maybe 30 or 40 seconds of that. Leaving it for another 40 seconds. And maybe leave it like that. I won't go the full hog of well done. 1 minute 15 now, 14, 13. It's really good. It actually tells you exactly what stage of the cooking it's at, if it's correct. That is, so that's well done. I'm just going to have a look now. Well done will be one minute. Yeah, yeah well, well done will be one minute. one minute. Yeah. Oh, I pressed it off. I think I'll go through the one minute. 
I messed that up. <laughs> I pressed off and it went off. So it's starting again now. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, it does work. It was going through the well done. I stopped it by pulling up the cover, the lid cover, and then it switched it off. And when I put it back, obviously I didn't press the right button to continue with its well done stage. So basically it's starting again. I'm going back to the beginning. If I hadn't have done that, it would have gone through the one minute stage of cooking last stage of the well done cooking and that would have been it so hey you live and you learn but anyway once it's cooked i'm not really too bothered it's still on there it's preheating in progress because obviously i switched it off now let's lift it again and see what happens i've lifted it again what should i have done oh it's still going preheating let's see and while it's preheating this arrow here is moving around as you can see it's slowly just going around while it's preheating let's see what it does when there's something on there that's already been cooked it's still preheating it's coming up to the blue section now which means it will soon be finishing preheating let's see how many watts this thing takes i've got something that i can gauge the wattage it's not too bad it's about watts 1000 still preheating now it's got hotter again it's about 1100 watts it's taking all right so that one mistake is causing a bit of a problem here right i think it's going into the blue soon still preheating right it's telling me to insert food now it's hit the blue so I'm putting the food in, which I'm not, it's already there. Let's see what reading it gives now. Let's pretend that I've opened it and I've closed it. Right, you've got to open it, then close it. Now, start cooking. Thickness calculation. It's going through the blue section. Which is the, so it's going through the blue, 15, 10, 12, 11, 10. It's coming through the blue section now done the blue section let's see where it jumps to it's going through rare six seconds wow that was quick now it's going through the medium section 31 seconds for the medium right because there's no sensors to actually tell you what stage the meat's already done i think it just goes through a set process so basically it's it's going through the medium again so it's hit the medium now let's see what it does here. Well done's only 31 seconds this time. Before it was 1 minute 40 seconds. But because the meat's already been done, it's been just sitting there, it only said 30 seconds. So yes, it does know how long it would take to get it to where you'd want it. So that's good. That's really good. It's 3 seconds to 1. Well done. That's it. So I'll take that off now, and that is well done. That is well done as you can get it well done. Right, so that, guys, that was just a little test of the OptiGrill. Not very scientific, but hey, good enough for me, just to give it a test. And uh, yeah. as you can see, that is well done. Not a beef connoisseur type thing, but hey, very nice. Just how I like it. All right, let's see how this works. So I'm gonna put that in, squeeze it round. It'll be kind of fast, isn't it? Oh, oh now I know why you need the drip tray, is if you overdo it like what I did. 
see the drip tray comes in handy so set timer for two minutes I've put my watch timer for two minutes oh what's this oh what does okay mean oh right oh there's a timer on the front of the screen so I'm not gonna wait obviously that long but yeah it's going got another minute to go so I'll see you later Two minutes might be a little bit too light for us I might put it on for another minute because reading the manual the book says three to four minutes so I'm going to put it an extra minute in whichever way that's done yep. oh Oh, I think that two minutes is fine. Okay, two minutes is fine. Let's get this one out, or these two, and get the next batch in. Because there's four of us here. And I think everybody wants a piece of this waffle. Oh, yeah. That looks good to me. Oh, this is it, guys. <laughs> this is our first waffle made on the new OptiGrill Elite using the waffle grill. It's absolutely wonderful. Look at that. What do you reckon of that? It's got a bit of ice cream, a bit of uh, strawberries and oh we're going to get some little crunchy nuts here and sprinkle it on what's this called bisco this bisco yeah, bisco bisco a bit of bisco wow this is it guys what do you reckon what i'm going to do i'm going to show you some of the accessories that i've got for the OptiGrill, TFAL OptiGrill. So as you can see, these are the plates here. That's the grill plates. These are the waffle plates. This is the baking snacking tray. So I'm just going to show you how it goes in. I'll do the baking snacking tray first. All you've got to do, there's a little button here. You press that, it slides out, and that's it. That tray's out. That's it. That can go in the dishwasher or go for a wash in your sink and this is the baking snacking tray so all this does literally is just fit in here like that you can leave that there don't need to take that out because that's what's going to cook from the top so obviously it's going to cook from the bottom and obviously cook from the top when you close it that closes and that's it you've got a baking snacking tray pizza whatever in there great bit of kit that is I was thinking of cooking some eggs on there. You could put a little bit of oil or whatever. It's non-stick anyway. Cook some eggs, bacon or whatever. So it's quite, you know, mushrooms. It's quite versatile, that, uh, the snacking baking tray. So that's that accessory. Obviously, we've taken the first one off. Now we're going to take the second one off. Again, just going to press this button. Pull it out of these little slots that are there. Again, dishwasher or give it a clean in your sink no problem let's get the um, waffle trays in slots in here there's two little slots there that goes in that clicks in obviously the top same sort of thing there's a, um, a slot here that slots in there and then it just clicks in and that's it you've got your waffle tray close that one little thing that goes with the waffle tray because when the grills on there the oil obviously has to run down into the oil catcher which goes in there like that so that's when the grill plates on there but now we've got the waffle tray in you're gonna have to get it a little bit more level so what you do here you turn it up and this little accessory here is to obviously keep the opti grill level there's two little holes there at the side that these pins 
go in and then this goes against this uh, bar here and that braces it up and that levels off the opti grill so that's level now then you put this back the catcher oil catcher or obviously a waffle mix because sometimes the waffle mix rolls down here and goes into this tray but yeah it's a great bit of kit that's leveled off now and there's your waffle so that's just a quick um overview of the accessories that came with what well, which were extra to the OptiGrill, the OptiGrill separate and then obviously you buy the OptiGrill baking and snacking tray and waffle grills separately links will be in the description so yeah that's it great great bit of kit catch you guys later